Hello and welcome to our presentation on prostatectomy. So what is prostatectomy, guys? Uh, prostatectomy is the removal of all or part of the prostate, okay? The prostate gland. The prostate gland is removed in part or the whole of it. Uh, this procedure is normally considered the gold standard if the disease is confined to the prostate, okay? And we have two major indications for this procedure. Number one, if someone has prostate cancer. And number two, when someone has benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, okay? So we have five types of prostatectomy, okay? And each depends on the approach and the indication required. The first one, which is the most common one, we are talking of the radical retropubic prostatectomy. This is the traditional approach to prostatectomy. It has been done over and over, okay? So in this case, you find that as an incision is normally made in the lower abdomen to access the prostate gland. Then the surgeon will remove the entire prostate surrounding tissues and nearby lymph nodes if necessary. Okay, the same, same, the same, same uh, radical prostatectomy can be done when you approach it from the perineal region. And that's why we call it or refer to it as radical perineal prostatectomy. So in this procedure, an incision is made between the scrotum and the anus. Can you go to... Are you able to figure out that one? So in this case, we want to access the prostate. You will agree with me that when you compare the two types, that is radical retropubic um, prostatectomy and radical perineal prostatectomy, in this radical perineal, there is limited visibility, okay? There is limited visibility. All in all, the surgeon removes the prostate and is able to do perform the procedure. So those are the two related types of prostatectomy. And this one are radical in nature, you know, removing almost everything, okay, pertaining to the gland. Next, we have laparoscopic prostatectomy and laparoscopic uh, la laparoscopic prostatectomy are saying it's minimally invasive procedure, though several small incisions are normally made on the abdomen. So, and this, uh, this incision, this is where we normally place the laparoscope and other surgical instruments. So the surgeon will be using these tools to remove the prostate gland. The fourth uh, type of prostatectomy is referred to as robotic assisted prostatectomy. I remember this type of prostatectomy is related to laparoscopic, okay? So you're going to be using the imaging as you observe, you've put the equipment, you made those incision, but in this case, you are using a robot, is the, the, the robot handling. So this approach uses robotic surgical system. So the surgeon controls the robotic arms and holds the surgical equipment and provides pre precise movement, okay? So it's minimally invasive and allows for enhanced visualization compared to these other traditional laparoscopic procedures. The final type of prostatectomy is referred to as TUP, transurethral resection of the prostate. And this type of prostatectomy is used to, to treat BPH. Remember we said we have two indications for prostatectomy. Okay, in case a patient has BPH or has prostate cancer. So in case has just is just BPH and not cancer, we use tube. Okay. So this involves inserting a retoscope through the urethra to access to remove the excess prostate tissue that is obstructing urine urine flow. Remember, tube is not a, a complete prostatectomy, okay? Because only the inner part of the prostate gland is removed. Okay, guys, so those are the five types of prostatectomy. Okay, radical retro, retropubic prostatectomy, radical perineal uh, prostatectomy, laparoscopic uh, prostatectomy, robotic assisted uh, prostatectomy, and lastly, TUP. Here are some of the common MCQs about types of prostatectomy. Number one, 
which type of prostatectomy involves the complete removal of the prostate gland, guys? Complete removal. So here we just said we are we are, we, we are we are approaching it where we are only removing the inner part. So this can never be the answer, right? Yes. And um, in robotic, we are saying robotic and laparoscopic are related because this one we are making several incisions on the abdomen and we are placing their equipments which we are able now to access uh, the prostate, okay? So the one that will involve removal, complete removal of the prostate is the radical prostatectomy in nature, okay? Radical prostatectomy, okay? So that's why the correct answer is B. Next, which type of prostatectomy is performed using a small tube inserted into the urethra to remove the prostate tissue? Guys, we just discussed it here, yeah? This is the transurethral resection of the prostate, okay? We use, okay, we insert a small tube into the urethra to remove prostate tissue, that, the inner tissue only, okay? Number three, which type of prostatectomy involves making several incision on the abdomen to remove the prostate gland, guys? Guys, we have already discussed here, yeah? We have already discussed, and here we are saying, we are talking of the laparoscopic pro prostatectomy, okay? Small incisions are made on the abdomen that we are going to accommodate the equipment. The fourth MCQs, which type of prostatectomy is performed using robotic arms controlled by the surgeon? Robotic arms. Okay, so robotic assisted prostatectomy. And lastly, which type of prostatectomy is typically used for large prostate or in cases of significant prostate enlargement, guys? What are we going to use? There is significant enlargement, okay? So we need to remove a, a, a big amount of tissue. If we use tube, guys, we're only going to remove the inner part. But remember here we have significant enlargement, okay? So this one is going to be an open prostatectomy, okay? Which will be able to give us enough space where we can be able to remove the prostate tissue, the significant enlargement, okay? So, guys, that is, those are the types of prostatectomy, the five types of prostatectomy. Guys, remember to subscribe and like this channel so as to be updated on the new videos. Thank you and have a great time.